as you guys probably know, I have thousands and thousands of master degrees, out of which one of them is distro hopping. I have hopped more distros than there are atoms in this universe. I have distro hopped so many times that my computer came alive and shat itself. Now while I was in this distro hopping tour, I usually experienced a lot of desktop environments, but probably the least desktop environment that I and many of you guys have explored is enlightenment desktop. And yes, that's the desktop environment environment I am talking about in this video. I'm gonna be honest, I think Enlightenment desktop should be compared with more like KDE and GNOME and other desktop environments, not XFCE. And let me explain. Now personally, here's a customization which I did in my desktop. Of course, this is a customization I did in about like one hour, which, which is pretty much very less to be honest. If I had taken a bit more time, I obviously I could have made it look really good, way better than what you guys are seeing on the screen right now but broadly speaking i think this looks good enough now obviously on the first look enlightenment desktop looks ugly so ugly in fact that there has been thousands of deaths related to enlightenment desktop i personally customized the theming of enlightenment itself and made it look more like nordic and you know dracula theme and stuff like that which looks way better than the poop colored gray button you would get and then i want to talk about the panel which honestly is just just amazing i think panels of enlightenment desktop could be compared to more like xfce but it's also more like kde so i think it's a middle ground between xfce and kde it has widgets which you could add or remove you could go ahead and then rearrange resize you could also even go ahead and then add widgets on the desktop itself which tell me if you could do that in xfce moving on to the next part which is the compositor i mean i don't know i guess this is probably the best compositor i'm just gonna Said. I don't think so. 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 Now here's why I say this. The animations which you get using this compositor is insane. I mean of course some of them might be a bit too old. It might look a bit too old for some of you. But there are some amazing modern stylized cool looking animations which the compositor provides. And I just cannot ignore this. The animations are just amazing. From minimizing, from hovering to just the bash script you would get in the enlightenment terminal which is by the way called terminology to literally everything. Enlightenment desktop I believe could be said as this cool desktop environment which looks old school and you know aged up by default but which looks very very modern and and clearly very customizable when customized by you and I think that this is a really cool desktop environment to everything you can say. This desktop environment is just cool and I think this really needs a lot of pushing and I think enlightenment desktop stuff should be a bit more so yeah that's that's really about it in this video if you liked it please go ahead like this video if you have not subscribed what the f and also if you have not joined the membership i really recommend you to join it new videos are going to be released for members every day and that's really cool right also buy my merchandise they're not just hoodies with my logo on it it clearly looks good with amazing designs so yeah i think you'll love it and finally i'll meet you in the next video